Greetings on this Monday. Dave Corvassier here in the Channel 8 Newsroom, and thanks for stopping by 8newsnow.com. Well, another attorney associated with the federal probe of the Homeowners Association fraud case has turned up dead. David Amesbury had already cut a plea deal with prosecutors, and his death is being considered a suicide at this point. It was a double shooting last night and a Henderson home break-in where someone was stabbed today, and we'll have those stories on the whole topic of defending your home and what you can and cannot do. That's in the news today. Also, that neighborhood watch shooting in Florida still getting a lot of headlines. There's been rallies and today a town hall meeting in that town. Uh, the gunman so far has not been arrested. We'll take a look at what local laws say about how you can uh, you know, stand your ground on your neighborhood or your home. We'll have more on the story of that exploding bus over the weekend uh, that endangered about 47 students on a field trip and how the principal and others uh, saved everyone's life. The I-Team's George Knapp picks up on a week-long series of reports about what caused our financial collapse here in Las Vegas and some possible solutions. And a look at how a surge in car sales uh, might be harmed by growing gas prices this summer. We have those stories and a lot more coming your way on our news between 4 and 6.30. Hope you'll join us.